All right, what do we have for my Leo spirit? We got outside forces. We got relationships. And we got make it work. Hmm. Some of you guys don't know Leo, but somebody is coming back. This is somebody that you definitely um, had a fallout with. And I feel like there is something that is out of your, uh, 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 this, this picture is something that's out of your control, that's in the unknown, that is happening for you. In regards of this person, Leo, coming back to you. And um, I just feel like somebody is going to eventually come back and want to make it work. They're going to want to fix something with you, Leo. But I got a feeling this is somebody that may have deceived, deceived you at one point in time. Some of you guys, this person may have been keeping secrets. Not everybody, right? Everybody, this person was like, some of y'all, they wasn't deceptive. It's just that maybe they was keeping the simple fact that they have feelings for you to themselves. Some of you guys, that could be the case, not everybody. But I just felt like this person will eventually um, come back and, and wanted to make it up to you. Now, I'm also getting this energy, Leo, where some of you guys are in a secret relationship with somebody. But you have somebody in the background from the past that could be pretty much in their feelings about the simple fact that you are in a relationship with somebody. Some of y'all are probably not in a relationship with somebody. This is what they think. Some of y'all are just building, um, I'm hearing your wealth. Like you could be focused more on your work. Some of you guys, it could be your money situation, like business, like some of you guys have a business. Some of you guys are, I'm just seeing a lot of partnerships with you guys. But you do have somebody in particular that is definitely in the background, in their feelings, because things are working for you in your favor. Whether they, I feel like they just know. You see what I'm saying? That's the energy, because maybe you are somebody that, you know, that always been on top of your game. You know what I'm saying? And maybe they see you with somebody. Some of y'all, somebody secretly could be watching you and another individual. I'm seeing so many different messages. It's crazy. But, yeah, some of y'all, this person could be secretly watching you, you know, out in public with another individual. Whether they look at you on social media, posting pictures with your new boo, or whether they look at you walking, you know, out in public. Maybe you're going places with your new boo. But somebody that... Somebody is secretly in their feelings about this, Leo, if you are dating somebody new and they're watching. Because they see that whatever is happening for you, whether this is work, business, or relationships, they feel like it's, everything is, is happening in a good way. It's like they don't like the simple fact that things are going great for you, put it like that, no matter what part it may be in your life, work, business, relationships. They feel like things are going great for you, you know, and they secretly and they feelings about it, Leo. But they want to come back and make it work. We got the tower. Wow, it's because they're going through some form of an awakening, Leo. Your person is going through a spiritual awakening, secretly going through a spiritual awakening. Now, some of you guys, it could be your energy. Maybe you are secretly going through a spiritual awakening while somebody else is in a relationship. Maybe somebody decided to leave you, Leo, and get back together with somebody else and work things out with them. Y'all take what resonate roles can be reversed. But we're going to focus on your person. I feel like your person is pretty much going through this awakening, some form of realization, Leo. Things could be secretly like falling down in this person's life, Leo. Yes, your person is under a lot of bad luck. Your person is under a lot of bad luck, Leo. But you being in a connection with somebody new, I feel like it, it really does trigger this person. It triggers them. 
because now they feel like they lost you, Leo. But I feel like this is their karma to lose you and to lose something in their life, Leo. Your person has some form of bad karma. Wow. And you know what's crazy about this? This is somebody that's been secretly holding these feelings back. When I said that right here, this person loves you, Leo. Even if somebody did deceive you at one point in time, this person is secretly in love with you. They still got love for you. Despite, you know, whatever you got going on in your work or your business or your love life now, somebody secretly loves you. That's crazy. You guys, like I said, you could be single and just focusing on your money, you know, or you could be in another relationship. But somebody, I just felt like somebody in the background going through it. When they walked away from you, Leo, because some of y'all, maybe this person walked away from you first, right? So when they walked away from you, they immediately had some form of bad karma. Whether you realize this or not. Some of y'all didn't even realize this. But they're very much triggered because they can't get next to you right now. Because they stuck in some karmic situation. Five of Pentacles reverse. So it's, saying, it's telling me they're trying to overcome anything that they have lost. Some of you guys, this person may have lost their home. Maybe when they lost their home, somebody may have had a house fire. Not everybody, but maybe when somebody lost something, they lost their like their stability, like they lost their money. You see what I'm saying? And they're trying to, you know, overcome any losses that they have took in their stability. And then they could be coming back. So after they overcome their finances, right? After they get their money together, Leo, some of you guys, this person is definitely coming back. We got the Ace of Wands right here. They're going to want a new beginning with you, Leo, a passionate new beginning. You know, some of you guys, this person may try to use sex as a way to come back in, but I feel like you don't want them. Some of y'all are not going to love, maybe you just don't love them. Some of y'all don't trust them, Leo. You know, I just feel like, you backing away from this situation. No matter how much this person loves you, you don't want them. With the two of cups reversed. Yup, I feel like you don't want to, you don't trust them. Like I said, whether you are in a relationship with somebody new or not, I feel like you still don't want them. No matter how much they try to come back and work things out with you, Leo, no matter how much they love you, Leo, I just felt like the love is gone on your end and the trust is gone on your end, Leo. Maybe you feel like y'all not compatible. Some of you guys feel that way. Some of you guys, I'm getting this energy where Somebody could be using sex as a way to recover from a loss, whether this is you or them. But I feel like this is them. They tried to use sex outside of you to recover from a loss, but it did not work. All it did was tear their life apart. That's exactly what I'm getting. So if this person left you at one point in time, Leo, and it was out of your control when it left you, just know that they have tried to use other sexual partners to, to get over you but they realized that it did, did it did nothing but mess their life up because it wasn't a match it wasn't a match the people that they was messing around with had demons in their spirit and it, it messed it messed things up even more wow we got drowning right here This person is drowning and I'm hearing sorrow. They, they hit rock bottom for real, for real, you know, but I'm just getting this sinking energy. Let's, let's keep it moving. You know what I'm really getting? 
every time they recover from a loss, right? Every time they get some money in their pocket, they end up going back down to ground zero. That's exactly what I'm seeing. So whatever they try to hold on to, it, it, it rips away from them, Leo. Immediately rips away from them. That's what I'm really picking up when I look at outside forces, the tower, the five of pentacles reversed in the drowning card. Your person secretly is going through some form of destruction in their life. Things are being ripped apart in their life. No matter how much they try to hold on to it, they go down to a deeper hole. That's exactly what I'm seeing. Then I say this person is like still messing around with karmics. I don't even know if they realize that they the karmics is another reason why their life is still falling apart. So even if they do come back, Leo, just know that they still messing around with the third party. Some of you guys, this person is still dealing with other people behind the scenes. It's clearly showing me that, but they don't love them. They don't, you know, but I feel like they love you, but you don't trust them and you don't want them no more. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. So let's, let's dive deeper. Yeah, they going down a rabbit hole. Whoever this is, their life is going downhill, Leo, because they still stuck on, the, they still dealing with those karmics, third parties, whoever it is. Somebody just don't want to learn a lesson and, and, and change. Now, some of you guys, if it's not more than one person they're messing around with, it could just be one person that's taking them down. Like I said from the beginning, if they left you for somebody else. But somebody is taking this person down. Your person is like it, it, super in a feelings for real. Because <clears throat> you could be dealing with somebody else. They're paranoid. Look. They watching you. Didn't I say from the beginning, Leo, they're watching you out in public with somebody or they're watching you, you know, things like you could be looking very, if you by yourself, you could be looking very put together and they don't like the simple fact that your life is better without them. Basically, they see that your life is better without them. The rest of y'all, like I said, they is watching you in your new boo, especially if you are somebody that's going out in public with this new person or if you're posting pictures online, they see it and they're very much paranoid you make this person feel very insecure leo they literally messing around with a karmic or car mix knowing that they have this anxiety but your person does have the desire to come back leo some of y'all's person ain't even come back this could just be in the in their head they could just be in their head about coming back and watching you like having a desire to come in and sleep with you and, you know, and so-called learn the lesson. But like I said, this person knows that you don't trust them for real. Because a lot of y'all are, are remaining very grounded. Like y'all protecting yourself from this person. Some of y'all blocked this person and they still watching you from somewhere. But it's telling me that your person is going downhill with car mix. Or another car mick if it's one person. Most of y'all, this person is still is a player. This person has more than one person. Period. And that's what's keeping they that's why they say so much anxiety. Because not only are they messing around with these demons, but they also paranoid because they see you getting away and your life is better without them. They cannot stand the simple fact, Leo, that your life is better without them, Leo. So they sit there and watch you. They sit there and hate. They sit there and watch you because their life is not secure. That's exactly what I'm seeing. So it's like they sit there watching you have a better life, but their life is falling apart. I'm here. Whatever they tried to do to you, it didn't work in the past. It just didn't work. It backfired more than anything. It did. Look, we got wishful thinking. They want a second chance. It says second chance. Deja vu. Nostalgia. So, yes, this person is missing you. Look, 
but they're not loyal. They're drowning because they weren't loyal to you. The reason why they're going through so much right now and they, you know, hitting rock bottom is because of their disloyalty to you. They wasn't real with you. Whoever this is, their money ain't right. Even if they wanted to give you something, their money ain't right. Like, they still ain't got enough. It's like, and whoever it is that they're dealing with, like I said, they're not even loyal to them. And the, and the third party ain't loyal to them. And that your person ain't loyal to them either. But somebody's getting ready to detach themselves from somebody. Oh, now they're realizing that they need to, to de detach themselves from those demons. Didn't I say it was demons? The karmic that they stuck effing around with Leo in the background, that they're still sleeping with, they are demonic. They That's what's was really holding them back because they're still sleeping around with other people. But I am getting this energy where somebody will eventually walk away. Whether your person walk away when they realize that they need to or whether the karmics leave them alone. But it's telling me that this person is, is afraid. Didn't I say they're afraid of your happiness? This person is fearful of you being happy without them, Leo. Literally paranoid of your happiness. And, and some of you guys, maybe this person ended up getting exposed. Some of you guys, maybe this person ended up getting exposed. Leaving them is telling me that it wakes them up, Leo. Didn't I say that? Leaving them is, is going to wake them up. I'm just seeing a lot of paranoia, a, a lot of paranoid energy with this person. They're afraid. And you know what's crazy about it? They're afraid of your happiness because they're not secure. And they're afraid of you getting away. And being happy with somebody else, period. It's like, they don't want you to be happy without them. But they also don't want you to be happy with another person, if that makes sense. That's crazy. Okay, what else? What else? Yeah, they're afraid of your happiness. They're paranoid of somebody snatching you up. Very much paranoid, Leo. We got mature man. Or it can be mature woman, even though it says man. But let's keep it moving. I need two more cards, spirit. Okay. That's too many cards. Okay, you got one, and then we got this one. We got mature woman, so, okay, we got mature man. So, this is a couple. So, your person finally letting go of those demonic people that they was messing around with, Leo, because they want to come together with you. But we're going to see. They own family don't F with them no more. So some of you guys, maybe the person that was toxic is somebody in their family that they was de dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it could be a homie that they was, a, a close friend that was toxic. Maybe they was, um, I'm just getting, I'm just getting this follow the leader type energy. Maybe they was following their homies because maybe their homies is the type of people that sleep around with other chicks. And, and now they could be wanting to release, like stop doing that. You know, messing around with other people or leaving their homies behind or their family or a relationship behind. But this is somebody that don't have nobody. Eventually, right? Because they realize that they, they got to step their game up. They got to make change, Leo, and, and let go of that baggage that was holding them back, which is those toxic people. Like I said, friends, family, or relationship that they was holding on to. But more than anything, the baggage was within them. Some of y'all, your person was the person that had the baggage, was the person that was laying, putting some form of effect on everybody's life. Maybe your person is realizing that they are the problem, Leo. And in order to have you, in order to have better, they need to be better in order to be with you. I'm getting that for some of y'all. And that could be the reason why I kept saying that your person secretly like you know, working behind the scenes to come back to you and work it out with you, even if you are in a relationship with somebody new or not. You know what I'm saying? And if you are dating somebody new right now, you ain't supposed to be with that person, Leo. 
You're not. Because we got relationships and then we got the will of fortune reversed. So whoever that you were connecting with and them, not just you, you're not supposed to be with them. Because some of y'all, I did say at the beginning, some of y'all did dive into another connection after this person left you. You know, but deep down inside, I feel like y'all both, some of y'all desire each other. Some of y'all do desire each other. I'm seeing both energies. Some of y'all desire to go back to the past, you know, and maybe you're trying to get up, up under another person to get over the past, but it's, it's not going to work because I'm telling you, y'all are meant, some of y'all are meant to come together. The rest of y'all don't want this person. Maybe you don't trust this person or any of that, but I'm telling you, you got, y'all could be very much guarded by the time this person come back, Leo. You know what I'm saying? But it is telling me that, yeah, you may be being stubborn about how you feel about this person, but it's not going to stop this person from coming back because they're getting rid of people that's holding them back, period, whoever this is. They're going through a lot of karma right now, but just best believe that your person is going to wake up. When they see you happy without them, oh, that's going to give them something. Something's going to hit them in their head to wake them up, Leo, to know that they need to step their game up and better themselves if they really want to be with you. Because you was on the brinks of walking away. Even if you made it seem like you were happy with somebody, like I said, your person feels this way. Your person feels like you are better off without them, and they don't like that, Leo. Even if you felt like you wasn't better off without them, you know, I just felt like... Seeing you with somebody else is giving them a rush to get themselves together now. For some of y'all, not everybody. We got the hangman. We got the nine of pentacles. And we got the page of swords reversed. Some of you guys, like I said, I'm seeing both energies, so y'all bear with me. Some of you guys, this person is still holding on to um, someone with baggage. Or this could just be seeing your person still holding on to the baggage. I feel like they're holding on to both because in reality, your person needs people to survive. We got the nine of pentacles. This is somebody that's not good to, you know, on their own. Because they're going through so much karma, Right? Because they drowning. They hit rock bottom. Your person hit rock bottom so bad to the point where they feel like they had no choice but to hang on to the past or to hang on to the baggage in order to get their way. You see what I'm saying? That's the energy that I'm picking up on for some of y'all. Because some of y'all, this person feels like they need to hold on to something in order to stay grounded, in order to stay, you know, a, a, a loop, like, you know, afloat. But I am getting this energy where... <clears throat> Let me clarify, because I don't know why, but some of y'all person could be holding on to your person. It may not even be your person holding on to another person. It could be the simple fact that you're somebody else holding on. But let's keep it moving and see. I'm seeing so many different energies in so many different ways. It's crazy. But like I said, y'all just take what resonates. If you feel like this is your energy or if you feel like this is their energy, then, then take it, you know. But we got the Eight of Cups right here. Yes. Somebody is shifting. Somebody is making change. Your person is making change. But there is somebody still holding on to them, Leo. I knew it. Somebody holding on. It's like your person ready to grow, grow up, right? They're ready to make change. But there could be a water sign that's holding on to them. It don't have to be water. But I'm seeing Pisces. But... Somebody still want to hold on to your person while your person wants to make change and let them go. Because maybe somebody depend on your person, but at the same time, your person really needs them. Or it's the other way around. Didn't I knew it? Support. We got the nine of wands. It says support, boundary, strength. Yes. Some of you guys, your person want to let go of their toxic ways. But they still have, okay, so that's what I'm seeing. They're letting go of their toxic habits, right? But they still have the baggage within them. They still have the, the, the demons within them, Leo, that they're trying to get rid of. But for some reason, something or someone is still holding on to them, whether this is within them or outside of them. 
because somebody needs some form of support. And it could be a mother figure. It could be their sister or their mom they still holding on to for some form of support. So it's telling me that they have let go of their old ways, right? As far as F and Bs and their homies and, you know, following the leader type energy. But they live with a mother figure. Some of you guys, this person could be still holding on to a mother figure or their sister for some form of support. You know what I'm saying? They have like a roof over their head or something. That's exactly what I'm seeing. And then we got... The page of swords reverse and um let's clarify this person secretly stuck your person secretly in their head they battling with themselves it's like they let go of their old ways and the chicks and the, the people that they was that was holding them back but they still don't know what to do with themselves because they still live with somebody. And I strongly feel like it's a sister or a mom that they live with. They don't have no guidance. Your person is still very immature when it comes to communicating and asking for help. Some of y'all, this person could be very stubborn when it comes to asking for help, Leo. So they feel helpless. They feel helpless just because they got away from their old lifestyle, Leo. It's like they, they still lost they still stuck they still feel trapped in their mom house or in their sister house whoever they are living with leo you see what i'm saying because i got a feeling they did leave people behind they have made some form of change right but they still need some form of support leo some of y'all these people are not asking for help some of you guys this person could be so stubborn living with their mom or their sister and they're not asking for any help because like i said this person has no guidance like they have no father figure or no mother figure to look up to you see what i'm saying so they choose not to ask for any help they rather just sit back and suffer mentally and, and be stuck in one room all day looking at the walls because that's exactly what i'm seeing i feel like they have woke up to realize what they need to do but they still feeling lost leo they don't know how to communicate. They don't know how to ask for help. Your person is their own worst enemy. It's like they're keeping themselves hostage, stuck in a room all day. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. They do think about you. They do miss you. They do want a second chance with you, Leo. But some of y'all got this person blocked. Y'all don't want nothing to do with this person because they deceived you. And I don't blame y'all. For, for those who got this person blocked because they deceived you, I don't blame you. But it's telling me that even if you are dealing with somebody new, it's that's not your person, Leo. Spirit took away the people that they was dealing with also. Because in deep down inside, your person is supposed to be with you. They desire you. They're going through a karmic lesson right now, Leo. Spirit is detaching this person from all the demons, which is the toxic people, places, and things that was holding them back. But they stuck on leaning on a, a mother figure or a sister figure to, to, to help them. But they they helpless because they don't want to say nothing. Yeah, your person is a lot of fear and anxiety. I told you, this person is very paranoid. It's getting this paranoid energy. Maybe they have PTSD. Some of you guys, maybe this person has PTSD because I'm getting that. Maybe they told you they have PTSD. Yes, wow. Some of y'all, this person could be afraid of you. Wow, they stuck in anxiety because they will forever love you. This is their karma, Leo, not only to hit rock bottom, you know, but to always love you, Leo. They're afraid of love for real. Even though they love you, is that they're afraid of it. They're afraid of it, Leo. You know, it's like, it's a lot that's going through this person's mind. It's like they love you. They're afraid of you getting away from them. They're afraid of you being happy and being happy without them. But loving you is kind of frightened to them like it frightens them leo to to even come forward if you was to give them a chance and unblock them you see what i'm saying but it's also telling me that your person could be blocked 
stuck wearing a false mask. It's like they want a second chance, but some of y'all are just being protected from spirit because they're still going undergoing a lot of um, spiritual welfare, so a lot of karma. Yes, this person loves you always, Leo, but they they can't make their mind up and they won't want to change. They still they still this player energy, Leo. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Oh, excuse me. At this point, they still in this player energy, but spirit is trying to push this stubborn ass person, you know, out of their way. Like they are the, like I said, this is somebody that's getting their own way, Leo. They all they need to do is make change. You know, but it's telling me that really in reality with this push and pull energy that this person is very much conflicted over the simple fact that they love you so much. They love you, but they just lost. They don't know what to do with, with themselves. They don't know what to do with you, the situation. You know, it's like they back against the wall, Leo, and they just paranoid. They just don't, they feel it hopeless. Look, some of y'all's person is, is very depressed. We got lost, depression, suicide. This person is very much depressed. Whoever this is, some of you guys could be dealing with a narcissist, but if not, it could just be seeing this person is very much egotistical. You know what I'm saying? Very fragile, you know, when it comes to the things that they're going through. Maybe they don't want you to know what they're going through. And that could be another reason why they're still in isolation a little bit, still living with their sister or still living with their mom. It's because maybe they don't want you to see them like that. Some of y'all's person is trying to hide the simple fact that they are going through what they are going through. You see what I'm saying? But we got time, delay, procrastination, too busy. Yeah, this person, this person is getting their own way, Leo. Literally, they're wasting time. But like I said, it's because they lost. They don't know where to start. They don't know how to get it. They so, this is somebody that's so used to being in that energy, that toxic energy. They don't even know how to break free from it all the way. They don't even know where to start. Like I said, they do know where to start as far as letting go of certain people. But they just don't know how to rebuild themselves up and rebuild their life back up, Leo. You see what I'm saying? And especially without you. Especially without you. It's like all they can depend on is the person that they live with, which is their mom or their sister. But they barely want to ask them for help. You see what I'm saying? If they is asking for help, they barely asking. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't, they just don't, they're just not comfortable with doing that. Like I said, this is somebody that has a mind of a child. Like, this is a grown man or a grown woman, but they still have the mind of a child because they never really opened up when they was little. They never really... I'm hearing this is somebody that always took care of themselves for the most part. But at the same time, it's like being that grown man, going from a child to a man or a child to a woman, is frightening to them. Change is scary to them. It really is, because now they got to reinvent themselves. But I'm going to go ahead and end it right here, Leo. I hope it resonates, and y'all take care.